We have 35 artists and we don't plan on changing that much by one or two, but it's, it just gives more space to show the art. Um, and now it also gives us opportunity to have a solo show for an artist. And then we have the other galleries, we call this like galleries one, two, and three, and then the other spaces that we have, we're able to show all of the other artists at the same time. It just gives everyone an opportunity to show their work and still have a solo show. Everything has to be uh, quality and everything has to have something that's interesting to it, whether it be a landscape painting or a still life or a figurative piece. Everything has to have some interesting quality, whether it be the subject matter or the paint. We don't necessarily do traditional, traditional subject matter. We decided to have a group show and feature every single one of the artists that we represent. And in doing that, we asked every single one of them to send us some new work. We thought that that would be appropriate for our, reloc our big relocation show is to feature everybody. This artist is Marshall Crossman, and this is from a series, she does two different series, and this is from a series called the Class Photo Series, and it's a yearbook. This is Philip Buller, work by Philip Buller, and he has a very unique painting style. He uses screens to paint through. So everything has a lot of texture, and one of the reasons why he does that is that he was always very attracted to the linen surface and the very texture of the linen, but when you gesso it, you lose a lot of that. So by painting through screens, you can achieve that texture back into it. It's just, his work is just very fascinating and very thought-provoking. This um, artist here, this is photography by uh, David Leventhal. This particular work is a Polaroid, but it has a sepia tone to it. And it's a 24 by 20 Polaroid. He uses toys. So all of the imagery that he has in his work is little, I'm not sure, how, they're going to vary in size, but they're very small little toys that he gives a larger than life feeling to it. So he's, um, David's probably one of our most internationally acclaimed artists. I think that there's a lot of things that are happening around this area and, um, you know, there's been a lot of discussion about NOMA and what's going on here and I'm just really passionate about it. I think that there's a lot, there's a lot of space and there's the industrial areas sort of going away with keeping still a lot of its industrial feel, which I'm really attracted to.